going on YouTube. It is currently like 7.30 in the morning and today marks day number 50 in 75 hard. So very excited to be two thirds of the way done. Like I said in my last video, I wanted to be able to take you guys through a day in the life of what it's like. Um, so a little bit about what we're doing right now is we're gonna go ahead and knock out this, uh, this outside workout because the thing about 75 hard is there are two workouts. Both of them are 45 minutes a piece. One of them has to be outside. So the one I'm doing outside is just taking a Drake here for a walk. I take a Drake for a walk. I just want to make sure y'all can hear that. I don't have a microphone or anything yet, so we're working on it, getting there. Um, and then we'll go to the gym later, you know. So recap today is just taking you through a day of a day in the life of what 75 hard is. So we'll just break it down step by step. First things first, knock out this outside workout. It's raining a little bit, it's cold, but excited to be on day 50. So what I wanna do for you guys is just break down the daily tasks of 75 hard. Okay, so this, uh, these are the things that you have to do every day for 75 days, all right? First two things are 45 minute workouts, okay? You have to do at least two, right? And one has to be outside. So Drake and I just went for a walk outside for 45 minutes, so that takes care of not only our first workout, but our outside workout, okay? Then you wanna drink a gallon of water a day, Okay, you wanna follow a meal plan or a diet, so whatever you want it to be, right? I know my sister has done no sugar diet, I'm just doing carb cycling, you can do carnivore, keto, whatever makes sense to you, okay? But you have to follow that for 75 days. The next tax is you can't have any alcohol and you can't have any cheat meals. So there's no brownies, no cookies, no beer, no liquor, no going to take shots with friends on the weekend, you can't drink whatsoever. Okay, and I love all those things. So imagine all my friends going out and do those things and, and me just being like, no, you know what, I can't do that because I wanna succeed at 75 hard. But you know, the thing that this will teach you also is just not having that fear of missing out or FOMO, okay? Then you want to read 10 pages of a nonfiction book. It could be whatever book you want it to be. All right, so what I'm reading right now is a book on real estate investing because it's something I'm very interested in. So I choose to read things that are around business and mental strength and toughness and uh, things that just kind of help you mentally get through the day. All right, and then the last thing is you just want to take a progress picture of yourself every day. All right, so what I do and what helps me is because this is such a minor task, but it's probably one of the easiest ones to forget. You want to just wake up, immediately take a picture in the morning. That's what helps me is because it gets it out of the way immediately. So two workouts, 45 minutes each, one has to be outside, a gallon of water, a meal plan or diet, no cheat meals, no alcohol, 10 pages a day of a nonfiction book and a progress picture. Guys, I'm on day 50 and when like they have a book for this and I'll also post it in the description or I'll just post a picture right here. So I'll just look up in the corner for the picture of the book. The book is phenomenal. It walks you through the entire program and why it's so beneficial for your life. I'm in day 50 and I feel like I'm in such a flow state and I'm loving every minute of this. And if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to uh, hit me up on social media or just send me a comment down below and I'll do my best to reply and uh, give you any tips and tricks. So next thing on the list for 75 hard is we're gonna go ahead and knock out our second 45 minute workout. I'm gonna go to Crunch Fitness and I'm gonna do a pull day workout. So that is just a combination of back exercises, rear delt exercises, bicep exercises, and I'm also gonna mix in some traps today. So uh, like the last couple of videos I've done, I'm gonna go ahead and list all the exercises, walk you through what I'm doing as far as sets and reps, try to make it as easy as possible. Also, I just wanted to briefly go over what I use as far as pre-workout for those of you who didn't see my last video. So some of the products I use or all of the products I use is I always take some type of creatine. I got this from the vitamin shop. Uh, it's called Create8 from EHP Labs. Not sponsored by any of these companies, just what I uh, take right now. Also buy this Extend brand uh, BCAAs. This is the Freedom Ice flavor, probably the best flavor other than the watermelon. Uh, as far as pre-workout goes, I take Gorilla Mode. My buddy Shane put me on their company with their glycerol. Uh, finally learned how to say that correctly, thanks to Shane. Uh, Gorilla Mode, this is their Tiger's Blood. This is the only flavor I've tried. It just sounded good and it actually does taste pretty good. And then I do mix in some glycerol. 
into my pre-workout just to get better pump. And also uh, some pink Himalayan salt. I learned that from another video prior. Uh, I think it was by Max Taylor Lifts. And uh, yeah, it actually does work pretty well. So that's what I have for pre-workout. I already got that made. I'm gonna take you guys to the gym and let's get it going. First workout we're gonna do is gonna get some warm-up exercises going. So I'm gonna start with some hyper extensions. And what I'm gonna do is three sets of 15 with a 45 pound plate, get my lower back and hamstrings and glutes warmed up for deadlifts. So we're gonna go yes, ahead and start with this and then great. we'll move into a pull-up. Next workout we're gonna do are strict pull-ups and we're gonna do three sets of two to five strict pull-ups. So that way we can start getting a movement to engage our lats before we do deadlifts. And then we'll go into our compound movement. So we're gonna move to deadlifts now. This is gonna be our compound movement for the day. So how we're gonna break this down is into a ladder workout. So I'm gonna do 75 to 80%, 85% of my max. I'm gonna start with 75%, do two reps, work up to eight reps at 85% of my max. So a little bit different, starting with lower weight, lower reps, working our way up for endurance on higher reps, higher weight. The next workout that we're going to go into is a cable row. I wanted to use the isolated low row machine, but what happens when you go to a commercial gym, some of the machines are taken up, so we'll suffice with the cable row. What we're going to do is pull not so much to our waist, a little bit more towards the bottom line of our chest, try to work that mid back. Workout we're gonna hit is a wide grip lat pull down. We're gonna use this mag grip that you'll see during the workout. Uh, kind of engages my lats a little bit more. I was a little skeptical about it, but I'm gonna give it a go. So we're going for kind of like a burnout workout, a burnout exercise. So we're gonna do three sets of 12 and then drop set to failure on this and partial reps do count. So three sets of 12 and then drop set to failure. The next one we're going to hit is seated dumbbell alternating curls. We're going to do this with some lighter weight and try to get controlled pause reps so that we can get a good muscle to mind connection and get a good pump in uh, just because we just overloaded our, our biceps with deadlifts and then rows and then also working the lat pull downs. So easy pause control reps going for blood flow.
workout we're gonna hit is another dumbbell workout. So we're gonna do seated, uh, bent over, rear delt raises. A little bit of an awkward stance we've never done before. We really like these desk grades, engage my rear delt the best. So we're gonna do four sets of 12 to 15 on this. Again, going for lighter weight, better form, more control grip. Last back workout that we're going to hit is a wide grip T-bar row. Really try to hit mid back. We're going to go for a heavier set, probably four sets of eight to ten. Last bicep workout we're gonna do is the preacher curl machine. So we're gonna go for four sets of 10 to 12. Try to get a good pump in going before we hit our last rear delt raise. Instead of doing a rear delt workout, we're going to do a high pull workout to kind of work out both rear delts in my traps. So I'm going to do high pulls with an easy bar, do three sets of 15 for a cool down, and then go do some cardio for 10-15 minutes, hit the sauna, and get out of here. Ugh. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up day 50 of 75 hard. So all I do at the end of every day is I go ahead and just get my 10 pages of reading in. So like I said before, it's just 10 pages of a nonfiction book. What I'm reading right now is this book right here. This is the Multifamily Millionaire Volume 1 by Brandon Turner and Brian Murray. They're both from Bigger Pocket. So I have aspirations of wanting to invest in uh, small multifamily real estate and eventually growing that into a larger portfolio. So these are things of my interest. You can read literally whatever nonfiction book you want. But this is what I'm choosing to read. I'm actually reading this uh, for a second time. Uh, what I do to really retain knowledge in books, and, and I got this from a quote from Alex Hermosi, is he said, you can read one book five times or five mediocre books one time. And that really stuck with me. So I really wanted to try to implement something that uh, helped me get through with that quote. So that just meant you know reading a book twice, but while doing it, using some flashcards to take some notes in between while I'm reading.
All right, guys, so that's a wrap with day 50 of 75 hearts. We are now completed with two thirds of this challenge. I can't express how much I really do appreciate uh, all of you following me with this journey, but you know, I just want to thank myself as well for doing what I say I'm going to do and stick through this because I can tell you it hasn't really it's been that easy. I mean, some things are easy and they're getting easier and they even talk about in like the 75 part book about being in that flow state and I, and I can see that now about how things just become more routine and you just kind of feel like you're in a flow literally. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I've been uh, on this binge watching of uh, Peaky Blinders. My boy Hayden put me on it and I absolutely love the show. So I'm going to go ahead and, and finish watching up uh, the rest of season four and call it a night. I appreciate you guys. Y'all have a great week.